Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to thank all my subscribers for coming back. Thank you. Continue to share, comment, and continue to just be yourselves. Now, y'all, my blood is boiling. I want y'all to watch this video and we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. I have time. I've traveled to London okay. to stay with my grandmother. Okay. Which is in Crystal Palace area. She's in Crystal Palace? She lives there. She lives there, okay. I'm supposed to live there as well. Okay. I wanna cry. Feel free. Feel free. Your name again? Petrina. 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 Ramona. Okay. Petrina Ramona. Hunter. My father is winter and white. I don't know. So your father is li lives in Jamaica? Okay. So so you went to your mother in Crystal Palace mm -hmm. and what happened? Like you were staying. I was staying with this friend of mine. Over there. Yeah, but I, I get a six months entry and attend South Chelsea College, I get one year. So the government maybe process me a student room. Okay. And some guy from Ghana just choked me, call the police. Over there in mm -hmm. England, Jamaican or no? Ghana. Ghana, Ghana guy, okay. But my mother told me Okay. To tell him that she's Bob Marley's cousin and I should kill him. I said I cannot do that. For sure. You don't I want just to. Want it to. See if she's okay. Petrina! Petrina! What's up? How are you today? Where have you been? Really? I just came from there. I just came. Really? Not. So you're not going to your spot over there? You bought some stuff? No. Nothing? Are you hungry? You want to eat some omelet? What about your place? Where are you going to sleep tonight? Yeah, me, I go around there later. Where are you going to sleep? I'll go around there later, but I'm a bit tired to stop. Ah, you're a little bit tired, so My you. Eyes. What about your eyes? They're a bit tiny. Okay, so you don't want to sleep maybe a little bit? No, omelette and then I'll go sleep. So wait okay. here? No, I, would, I think like I want to, I have a surprise for you. So I want you to go there and I'm going to bring you your surprise. What do you think? How big is it? Is it big a little bit? Because I don't have space, so you'll have to keep it a lot of it. No, you're not going to carry it. You're going to leave it there, but it's going to stay there for you, like, you know? What is it? Okay, let's go to your space, wait for me there, and then I'm going to bring it to you there like in five minutes. All right. Okay. Omelette, omelette, not, not gift, gift tomorrow, Christmas gift. Christmas. Ah, tomorrow it's like Christmas gift? Christmas surprise. Christmas surprise? Uh, Christmas omelet surprise? Now. No, but I, wa I want to make it like a one day before. What do you think? Like I want to make it today. Yeah, you can make it today. Okay. Okay, let's, let's go there. I'm going to bring you food. But you need to wait for me there because you're gonna sleep there, right? In the same place, in the same spot that I saw you for the first time, and I saw you yesterday, right? Or usually you, s you stay in a different spot. I stay spot. right here sometimes. Really? Do you stay? You sleep here? No, sit here. Just sit. Smoke a cigarette. But where do you where do you sleep? Down there. Down there. Mm -hmm. So let's go there because I want to bring you to you there. What is it? Come on, it's a surprise. You will never find out if I you keep sitting. I wanted to steal it. That's why I wasn't taking it and my bags are full. So I take food and drink. Right. So go grow my spot? Yes. Come on, let's go. How was your day in general? I feel you like you are in a good, uh, in a good mood today. I see you smiling. tired. Okay. You're very tall, Petrina. I have to tell you. Six. Uh, almost feet. my height. Yeah, yeah, I can say like you are my height. Six what? Feet. Six feet. Tall. 
So you're a little bit tired because you're wandering all day? I'm, I'm you know, the, the, these videos are made for someone that can really help her, that will find yeah, her. Yeah, my, my cousin is in the wheelchair across from the, the stoplight. His name is Glenn. He's amputated two legs. All he's in is he them. Uh, he's the one that grew me primary school, basic school and everything. So my mom died too late. I'm supposed to go with the father, but I don't like him. I saw you, you just Yeah, my father is across the road in a wheelchair. Your father? He had no hand. Yes. Your father? He's the man that grew me. That's my grandma and nephew. Really? Mm-hmm. So what, what do you need to do with him? I pray get some pampers because he sits the whole day to beg and sitting in the feces. He speaks English like you? Yeah, my Jamaican. Okay. Oh, only part one. There's a second. Here, this one. This one? Okay, let's go. So I hope like really someone, you know, that really can help her, but not, you know, not the, the traditional one with medicines and all this stuff, because I don't really believe in that kind of treatment. Yeah, they are my bikes. I think it's like can be solved in different ways. It just... Uh... Now y'all understand why I was mad. Now, <laughs> Jamaica. Jamaica, 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 Jamaica government. Jamaica, please, I am begging you. Develop laws to protect the citizens of Jamaica, the vulnerable, the ones that are being exploited. That's number one. Can we please develop that? Can we please develop laws that will not only protect them, but will not allow people that are YouTubers outside of Jamaica to exploit them, to take advantage, to abuse. Now, y'all look at it one way and I look at it in another. And the reason why I said that, this young man, ever since he went to Jamaica and have made contact with this homeless girl, or with his homeless sister, I should say. Not homeless girl, homeless sister. Because none of us are better than the other. And he has come in contact with her. That first video he did, he made almost a half a million views. That was his highest views ever. He went back to her a second time. Even when she said, I want to cry. I don't want to talk about it. This counselor, this street counselor tells her, I'm here. I'm listening. I have time. Y'all. Hmm. Now she proceeded to tell her story. And he listened. Broadcast. Now, this young lady is not in her right mind to give consent or consent over and over, put it, to give consent to have her life broadcast like that. We all in life have ups and downs. And in our downs, if someone approaches us and broadcasts our life when we were not in our right minds to make consents, do you think it's fair for her? What if three years down the road, two years down the road, she's gotten help and now she's getting over and she's trying to live a good life. But because of this, she's haunted by it. He wouldn't allow her. He keep going after her. She wasn't chasing after him. She kept going quiet and he kept insisting and interrogating and insisting and interrogating. The second video he did, he gonna say homeless woman by herself for Christmas. How many people was by themselves for Christmas? How you knew she even celebrated Christmas? Hey, you, you don't even celebrate Christmas. You don't even believe in Jesus Christ. What are you talking about? You talking about, oh. Uh, Y'all, make matters worse. That video also got over 400,000 views. So he left Jamaica. 
went to another small island and realized, hey, business is not good here. I can't find nothing. So what he did, he went back to Jamaica and went looking for her again. Jamaica, please protect the citizens of Jamaica from exploitation. Please do that. You don't see no other YouTubers in Jamaica doing this. You don't see Jamaican YouTubers doing this. Because we have a certain level of respect for people and their life that they're going through at the moment. None of us are better than the other. And don't forget, everything in life is a season. So this young lady is going through a season. And here you come along and broadcast her season for the world to see because of your selfish gain, sir, Coco boy. And then have the, the nerve in Jamaica, every time you get a cost for something somewhere, you wanna challenge it and tell them how much you wanna pay. Guys, please Jamaica, keep in mind between him and Coco girl, Coco boy and Coco girl, I found out that they are exes. Not only are they exes, they're both soldiers from Israeli army. Yeah, I said it. These are not regular civilians that are running from war. These are soldiers that are running because they don't want to fight. Why aren't you there protecting your country, sir, ma'am, both of y'all? Why are you in Jamaica exploiting Jamaican citizens? Where's her family? The little food that he's given to her and those other things, that does not amount to anything. Did y'all notice his views that he had before her was not even up to 50,000? But ever since he came in contact with her, just those videos that he did with her, the first two, because people thought they were genuine, they got over 400. The third one is barely making it, didn't even make it to 100 yet. Stop exploiting Jamaican citizens, sir and ma'am, coca boy and coca girl. Jamaica, please step in. Please step in. Don't do this to our people. Our people have been through enough. Whatever she's going through, she'll get out of it. Whatever everyone's going through, they'll get out of it. This is 2024. So for you to go down there with your camera, sir, and decide you want to broadcast someone who is not in their right frame of mind to give consent to their life being broadcast, you're telling her you're a YouTuber. What does that mean? What does that even mean to her? A person who... Hmm. I had to take a break because I had to cool myself down. Now... Once again, Mr. Coco Boy, please allow Jamaican citizens to enjoy their lives. People that have mental disability, it is a disability, sir. You are recording and exploiting someone who is not in their right frame of mind, which is considered to be a mental disability. She did not consent to that. Jamaica, please step in. Whatever help she needs, everybody can put together and help her. Where is Kino live? Kino, I'm calling on you. Drizzy Burke, I'm calling on you. Professor Bingy, I'm calling on you. Colors TV, I'm calling on you. Put together and help this young lady and her uncle that she says sitting in a wheelchair with no legs. Don't allow this man to continue to exploit our citizens. Jamaica government, please, I'm begging y'all. Develop these laws to protect everyone. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for coming back. I hope y'all enjoy Please leave a comment, please share, please subscribe, and keep coming back.